Hello friends, welcome back to SQL with Manoj. Today I am going to talk about Excel and SQL. So this is my first video of Excel and today I will show you how to connect to SQL Server from Excel and get the data. Okay, so let me take you to SSMS. Here we have AdventureWorks 2014 database restored already and we have a lot of set of tables and we'll see how to you know get this person dot person table okay so let me open excel for you and open a new blank workbook okay so here to connect to excel you have this data tab click on this data tab and you'll get a lot of options okay and these are the journal uh, sources from where you can get the data okay so i have to click from other sources and the first one is from SQL Server okay so just click on the SQL Server and you will get this dialog box so here you have to apply the server name so my server name is this Manoj Pandey Dell okay and to just confirm it you can just click on connect and click on database engine so the server name that you recently connected will come over here right so you can just copy this okay and paste it here in Excel Okay. so log on credential is my windows authentication if you have and uh, if you want to do it by some other SA user you can just choose the username and password and just give it here so I'll just click next here it asks me which database I want to connect so I'll select the AdventureWorks 2014 from this drop down and these are the tables that it shows me so it shows me all the tables and all the views that I can connect to so but I'm interested in person table so I'll just select the person table and click next okay and it, it gives the connection name and you can uh, even change it but I'll just keep it as it is and I'll click finish okay so this import data gives me some options to render this data so the first option is the table so it if I choose this option I'll get data in table format second is the pivot report third is the pivot chart and fourth one is only to create the connection and don't render the data right so if I want to show some charts or if I have some figure related data then I'm then I can use this but right now it's a person table so it will be having person data so I have these two options so right now what I'll do is I'll just select the table okay and click OK, okay. so as you can see here all the details of this person are pulled from SQL server okay and displayed over here so these are all the columns that are present in person dot person table right and these are all the records and let me see how many records are there so there are around 19,973 records that Excel has pulled from SQL Server and let me just confirm how many records are there so what I'll do I'll just query this table select star from person dot person and execute it and you will see these columns same the same columns that are pulled in Excel and 19,972 records these are pulled in your Excel sheet okay so now let's say you want to customize the you know uh, columns or if you want to you know specify a query so let's say if you have a specific query by only having a specific columns let's say you have business entity ID first name last name middle name okay only these columns so how can you do that so before that I'll just create the query first name middle name last name okay so I have this query Okay. what if I want to have this query instead of the whole table I don't want all the columns I just want I'm just interested in these particular columns okay so how can you do that you have to go to the data tab and go to the connections and here click on properties and just click on definition right so here in this box you will see a lot of details like what was the connection file right this was the connection file that was created when you created the connection initially this is the connection string and command type command type right now it is selected as table okay so if I have and the command text is the table name database name schema name and the table name if I want to specify a custom query I have to change this command type from table to SQL okay and instead of this I have to 
you know specify my query the connection in this workbook will no longer be identical to the connection defined in this the link of that external file will also be removed do you want to proceed yes so if I just proceed and close it you can see only the columns that we selected are retrieved here okay now let's say this particular person's name got changed in SQL Server so what it reflect here so this business entity ID is 285 okay let's go ahead and change it so I'll just copy it here and paste it and I'll update the record update person dot person set let me change the middle name to right now it is E I'll change it to Z okay and where the business entity ID is equal to this so this is my update query and I'm going to change the middle name of this particular person so let me show you how the record now looks like here right so right now this name is Sayyid Z Abbas and here still it is coming as E because we have not refreshed it so if you just click here and do a refresh it will pull the data and it will change it okay so this is how you connect to SQL Server from Excel and get the data into your Excel in the desired format like you uh, the way you want okay so this is it for today in this video I'll talk more about the Excel and SQL things like this in my coming videos please like and subscribe the video thank you very much